Okay, it's time to review the Oxynos 11.0.8.13 update for the OnePlus 8T. And well, I do have a lot of stuff to share after using it for like three days or so. So let's quickly get into it and let's see how well or bad this is for you. First off, the benchmark scores are less than what we get with Color OS. So on paper, that should give better results. And I've been testing it out for some days, and it does feel somewhat better. Yes. Anyways, first of the good things about this update, and there aren't much, but the security patch is of May 21, and that is the latest we could get as of now. Apart from that, the wideband level is still L1, thankfully. So that is also fine. Rest. If I talk about the performance aspect, well, it has been almost similar to before, and there is no change in that. I tried games like PUBG on smooth and extreme settings and at 90 FPS too, and overall the gameplay was smooth with no major heat up as such, but I didn't play it for like continuous hours on a stretch, hence I can't claim about that. Overall the device performs really fine, but I have quite a lot of issues to share. First up, the proximity sensor has gone crazy in my case, and as you can see, the device used to be fine before this update. And now after the update, the screen just won't go off and in case you are wondering, I'm using the official screen protector since day one. So yeah, no scope of error. Though I have to restart it time and again to fix this, but I thought to let you guys know about it. The next issue is with OnePlus Tyler and Contacts application. And for some of you, both the applications are crashing, which is quite irritating as after months we got a good dialer that can auto call record. So you can try reinstalling the application or use this alternate auto call recording app or else just wait for a fix from oneplus. Though for me, the dialer application is still fine and auto call recording also works. But do let me know in the comment section down below if it is fine for you too. Next up the battery life and that has also been similar for the most part. So I'm getting around 6.5 hours of screen on time without gaming. Though with the last version it used to touch around 7 hours or so. But that is not the case with this version as of now. The overnight drain is around 3% which is fine too. And the chat bubbles have still issues with telegram and for the rest of apps, they work fine. After that in the camera part, there is no big change as such and the images are almost similar as you can see on your screen. The main issue arises when you open the image recently taken. That is with the gallery application and it sucks big time. It goes awfully slow sometimes for some reason and I have the latest version of gallery application from the play store. And literally it is very slow in deleting images sometimes, which is awful in my honest opinion. Rest I did not face any app crashes other than this and the device is usable. But if you ask me whether you should update or not, well the answer is simple. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. In short, if you use the oneplus dialer and contacts application, stay on the last version as this one has no new features apart from some minor fixes and it's better to ignore it as such. But if you are facing hiccups in gaming and you don't use the stock oneplus apps, feel free to try it out as the video on color OS will be up really shortly. So that's pretty much it for this video. Do like this one if it helps you out and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.